fertilizer is not used to fertilize a plant, to feed a plant, but rather it's used to provide at the root zone nutrients that the plant draws from mm -hmm. the soil, minerals and a variety of other things that are beneath the surface of the soil that include nitrogen, phosphorus, potash. So you'll notice on every package of fertilizer sold in Canada by law, they have to tell you uh, what, what three, they give you three numbers and those numbers are always in the same order by a percentage of weight of the product, nitrogen, phosphorus, potash. The three elements that exist in the soil that are in highest demand by plants. The more you know about the cultural requirements of a plant, then the, the better you'll understand the need for fertilizer, if there's a need for fertilizer. Let me say broadly speaking, Herbs don't need fertilizing. Herbs like to be hungry. So if you if you have uh, rosemary, thyme, basil, like you name the culinary herb, chances are it really likes to be a little bit on the hungry side to perform well. So not everything requires fertilizer. Your lawn requires fertilizer to perform well, but not herbs. As far as the plant is concerned, there is no difference. But environmentally, there is a difference. The, how they manufacture uh, synthetic fertilizer. There's a difference between that and a bag of well composted cattle manure, for instance, which can have as little as 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 nitrogen, phosphorus, potash, or NPK. It still has certain a certain uh, fertilizer content. You're going to use a whole bag of fertilizer that may weigh 20 kilograms in a single hole for a tomato and you might use a tablespoon of 20-20-20 synthetic fertilizer for the same plant. Those two different products might achieve the same thing from a fertilizer point of view, uh, but they're dealt with very, very differently, right? Uh, one thing that, that synthetic fertilizers will never do for you is condition the soil, and that's where organics or natural fertilizers can be a huge help.